to the platform video I know a lot of you are gonna have questions on well what I can I do on the brakes rear brakes what are the options available this is the first question people are gonna ask so I'm preempting that and making this so on the rear brakes the only brake kit that I could find and with my limited searching that would be a uh, I mean supposedly a straight bolt on would be the rear disc brakes calipers pads from a Polo GTI the European version of the Polo GTI and that would that should ideally straight straight away swap over to the Virtus and Slavia rear what do you call it, uh, brake carriers now that is still a question mark though you know it's not a done and dusted deal primarily because the rear we had the same issue when we were doing the 1.6 polo and the 1.2 tsi polo rear brake conversion so if for a little history lesson the 1.6 liter polo gt tdi and the 1.6 liter polo uh, polo and fabia petrols they came with the rear disc the gt tdi didn't come with the rear disc brakes but the 1.6 petrol versions of the Polo and the Fabia came with the rear disc brakes. So what a lot of us with the 1.2 Polo GT TSI and 1.6 Polo GT TDI did when the cars came out was we swapped over to those brakes. We just basically went to Volkswagen, bought the rear disc, rear calipers and they bolted onto the rear carriers and <clears throat> that was the end of that. So you had rear disc brakes, OEM, spares available in India, pads available in India, cheap retrofit. Now, on the later generations of the car, I think 2011, 12, 11, the first gen cars had the, it was a direct plug and play. On the later gen cars, 2012 onwards, I don't think the, what happened was that the mounting point for the brake caliper was deleted in the, deleted from the rear subframe. I guess they started manufacturing it in India and they said, no, this is a way to cut costs, that no, uh, for European cars, we, they, they, they usually come with disc brakes, so they put them on and in the very low end version, bare based unit, they come with, the, come with the drum brakes, so they gave both of, they made a carrier which you can do both drum and disc, but for India, they knew they were going to sell only a drum, so they deleted that part, that mounting bracket, and because of that, you can't upgrade the polos, Polo GTIs, GT, no, sorry, Polo GTs anymore to rear disc brakes without changing the entire rear subframe and the carrier and all the stuff like that. I am guessing since the MQB A0 is A0 in the India specific platform, you will not have the carriers for the brake calipers like we, and the same issue basically that the, you, you buy the rear brake discs brake calipers and then you mount on the brake this but there is no place to mount on the brake calipers because they, if they did it in the polo it makes very it's common sense that they were done it in the with the Virtus as well because there is no version of the Virtus in India which comes with the rear disc brakes so it's smart it's just cheaper for them to delete it delete that component or delete that piece and save money so if you have a one of these cars manual DSG 1 litre, 1.5 litre, you can actually check behind your brake drum to see if there are what looks like a caliper mounting bracket. If it's there, very good. You can go and order the rear brake discs and the calipers and the brake pads from the Polo GTI and put them on. If there isn't, then you are out of luck because then the entire twist beam suspension needs to be changed because I believe that's where the, it comes as one piece unit. So you can't just change the hub and get the carriers. So that's your only option and even if you do manage to get so far as to importing a rear sub, rear cross member, rear uprights where which which have the mounting caliper, mounting points for the brake, brake calipers, you are faced with the unavailability of pads and discs locally which means with the current import duty you are looking at more money to replace the rear brake disc and brake pads than you would cost to replace the front disc and front brake pads so that's another problem so yeah problem identified solution identified more problem to that solution identified so if you 
you guys want to do it i'll send you guys a part number just drop me a message in the in the comments below and i'll send you the part number that i've figured out will fit our car with the caveat that i don't know if the brake caliper carriers exist or not if they don't exist you're out of luck if they do well you're in luck okay